Hey Inspire Poets, welcome to another video and um, today I have a question for all of you. So this question has two parts. Um, the first part is what is the most unconventional context that you have written poetry? And then the second part is what is the most unconventional material that you have written your poetry on? In a little bit, I'm going to share my answers to those questions. But first, I'm going to give you a little bit more of a context as to why I'm asking these questions. So yesterday I was hanging out on Twitter and someone had actually written a post or tweeted, I should say, um, that they responded to a discussion question for one of their psychology classes with a poem instead of an essay, and they felt really stupid about doing that because no one was interacting with their thread. Everyone was interacting with everyone else's threads, um, but they weren't getting any activity on it. And um, I just wanted to pose this question today as a bit of, a, of encouragement that as poets, we get inspiration at any time in any moment, and there's lots of times where we end up scribbling our stuff down on um, random pieces of paper, or we will get a moment of inspiration from um, something that's outside the context of what we're supposed to be doing. For example, um, in this situation, responding with a poem instead of an essay. Um, so I just want to encourage all of you um, just not to feel stupid about your poetry. Um, whether you write a poem and you feel like the poem sounds stupid or if you share a poem in a context where it's not received well. Um, all of your poetry and your creative expression is valuable and I want all of you to understand that. And um, moving on to my answers to the questions. Um, the first part of the question, what is the most unconventional context where I have written poetry? Um, I would say the most unconventional context would be for a sermon for church, um, myself and some other people were allowed to take control of the service for the day. And um, we actually decided to do a creative expression service. So instead of having your traditional sermon um, that's kind of like laid out where it's like Bible verses or more storytelling, we actually decided to write poetry and um, other creative type of things for that sermon. Um, and then the most unconventional material that I've written my poetry on would be graphing paper and church bulletins. So I always seem to get inspired to write whenever I'm at church and I always end up scribbling stuff down on the bulletin and end up running out of space. Eventually I decided just to bring a notebook with me <laughs> so that I could um, make things easier for myself. And then for the graphing notebook, I had actually, I had an extra notebook left over from high school from taking math classes. And in college, I was just like, well, I don't have any more math classes to take. So I just I decided to start writing poetry in it. So um, as uh, I mentioned in one of my older videos with me transferring things to a loose leaf binder, that loose leaf binder actually has quite a few pages um, of graphing paper as well as church bulletins in it where I've written things on. And um, that's all I have for you today. Um, feel free to comment below um, the most your, your answers to those questions. So once again, the questions are, what is the most unconventional context where you have shared your poetry and the most unconventional material that you've written poetry on? Um, I definitely want to hear your thoughts and um, experiences. So please, please, please leave it in the comments below. And also thank you for taking time out of your day for to watch my video and um, live life, write poetry, inspire the world. See you next time.